Hi and welcome to this Red Short. I'm George here at Red HQ. We're going to be looking at the difference between lengths and widths in this short to understand how they work together to create different characteristics in a board. Now, generally speaking, on our all-round or beginner boards, we start at about 32 inches wide. That is a fantastic stable board and any wider, all you're doing is increasing the stability. So if you're a beginner or a heavier rider looking to get the very most out of those early steps on a board, then maybe look at over 32 inches wide. As soon as you go under 32 inches, like 30 or below, you then start to look at increased speed and glide of the board. This is where length comes into play. Ultimately, the longer the board, the faster it will be through the water. And the width dictates how it will perform. The narrower and longer the board is, the more streamlined the shape can be, and therefore the easier it will cut through the water, ultimately giving great glide and speed. The shorter you go, the more agile the board becomes. So depending on the width, it will give different characteristics and feeling when paddling on the water. A great starting point for people looking to buy their first board is our 10.6 Ride MSL. This is the perfect length to give great glide and speed, but also still feel nice and agile and responsive. And at 32 inches wide, it makes a very stable platform for beginners, families, and anyone just looking for a versatile board to take out with them. 